represent all Muslims or even all Muslims in America. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to fall into this trap mm -hmm. that the media fall into all the time when mm -hmm. they talk about Islam as if it's a monolith. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. Islam is extremely cosmopolitan. It's extremely diverse. Uh, do you guys have any, any, any idea how many countries can be called predominantly Muslim? So that when we talk about Islam, how many countries are we talking about? Way more than that. Just about the whole world, actually, because they are everywhere. Well, that is every religion. Exactly. Is everywhere. Exactly. Like Christians are everywhere as well, right? But predominantly Muslim countries, where the majority of the people are Muslim, 57. So, you know, I, I, I mean, it's practically impossible for anyone to talk about Islam and represent all of that diversity. And so, um, so I wanted to stick with the people that I know. And they are an important part and an important voice of, of American society. And they are not the kinds of people that you get to meet you know, in documentaries that you see on TV. They're never represented, ever. Because uh, they're just too normal. <laughs> and they're too average. And they're too much like everybody else. And they're not upper class. I mean, they're, many of them are professionals. You know, they're, they're educated, but they're professionals. They're middle upper middle class, it's a mixture of those two classes, if you 